What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Boy Zay here, and I'm back with a new video. Today, we're back with a boot review. Now, I feel like I'm really like the boot guy. Like, I feel like I have, I have so many boots. Like, I just feel like I'm the boot guy. Like, you know how Mary J. Blige is known as the boot lady? I'm the boot man. I, I'm always buying a pair of boots. But, you know, how could you not like, like, not like a good pair of boots? Like, they just... Yeah, they just fire, like, you know what I mean? Now, we are gonna be reviewing this brand called Sunny Sunny. It's black owned, and we love black owned stuff. Like, black, if it's black owned, I, of course I'm gonna support and buy it. But before I start watching this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share, and comment down below. All right, y'all, so let's get to it. Here are the boots that comes in this box. It's a nice black box. Really cool, it's like thicker. It's got it. They gave me the wrong size. Oh my god, they gave me the wrong size. I'm now just noticing it. I was supposed to get a 9. I ordered a 9, but they gave me a 10. But hey, wow. Okay. But this is the shoes, and this is the box. Really nice, really cool. Sleek. And it says Sunny Sunny. So we're going to put this down. It comes with these duffel bags. This is kind of like the first time I'm really like unpacking, packing, so... Everything's coming to like a shock to, to me a little bit, but yeah. From the duffel, looking at the duffel bags, I really liked how each individual shoe comes with its own duffel bag. That's what I like about designer slash uh, more expensive shoes. Most of the time they come with like a duffel bag. Now I will say I do wish they had a little bit of tissue paper because it's kind of empty. But I mean the duffel bag suffice each individual one, so I will give them a compliment on that. So shout out to them. But let's take the bags off. Yeah, these are the boots. First initial from these other boots as you can see so I must say by first sight I like them I love them mine they actually look better in person than they do online I definitely will say so uh, shout out to them because sometimes shoes I don't put this one away sometimes shoes when you buy them online they do have a different like either the coloring looks different the shape of the shoe looks different or just something is different but so these are called the re-suede ankle boots as you can see so they go right above your ankle a little bit a quarter calf so and these are the shoes this is the bottom and it says size 10 made in portugal sunny sunny and it has the logo right here. So just to get into some details about the boot before I give my commentary. Again, they're suede, so this is a suede material. It's a wooden stack heel, as you can see. So the platform is a wooden stack heel. And um, on the side, you can see the zip closure. So, you know, like any other boot, you do this. And you take it out. And this is what comes in it. But yeah, this is the inside of the boot. It has the square toe, not like a pointy, and it's like a wider set. And the retail price for these is seven, around seven sixty-five, I believe, or seven hundred. But they're currently on sale, so get them because I think they're like fifty to sixty percent off. So, which is dope. I really respect that. As for like praises and then like critiques. So praises, I really love the square toe. I love the shape of the shoe. It's definitely an unorthodox shoe. It does not look like any other brand, unless they're probably like, a, not a knockoff or like a dupe. This is kind of puts a different look spin on like the, a regular Chelsea boot. I feel like these would be really good for like formal wear, but I feel like you also could dress these down too. But I love how it, even though it's a black boot, it still has its own look to it. And it looks expensive too. So, you know, sometimes when you get stuff like, no shot to Bottega, but like for this example, the puddle boots, like those is like five hundred dollars, right? But they look like they cost like one hundred, like a hundred dollars, or like eight, even eighty, like a hundred boot. So I love how it has the expensive, extensive, pristine look to it. Now, first critiques, I have two major ones, and I don't think that has to do with like the boot itself. I think it has to do with like maybe like the company. So I originally ordered a size nine. I got a size ten which is not a huge deal but 
with certain boots i like them to fit exactly i don't want them to look too big like i got these anderson bells and i got them in the size 10 but my feet looks huge in them i have a decent amount of room but if i feel like i would have got a size 9 i feel like it would have fit perfectly and it would make my feet look a little bit more smaller especially i feel like when wearing these you should wear like a crop or a skinny pant you know what i mean that was only one complaint and then another one I don't know if this like that, but it has like little skid marks around the rim of it. So I don't know if y'all can see that. It has little marks on it. I just don't want people to think my shoes is fucked up. Like even the shoes, I haven't even wore these out and they got they got like little scuffs on it so again that doesn't have to boot do with the boot itself i think it's probably the company who handled these and i got it from the actual website so i don't know so i didn't get it from sex i didn't get it from essence i didn't get it from farfetch i got it from the company itself so that's a little interesting i'm not gonna lie other than those little two things i like the shoe I think it's cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these below. All right, y'all, that was the Sunny Sunny Re Square Toe Boot Review. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch y'all on my next one. Peace.